Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Time Boy 00 back here with another video. So today we're going to be talking probably one of the most exciting things about my channel and that is the Supreme leaks that are coming out for the Supreme SS18 season. So these leaks are what I found along Instagram, what I've been posting about on my account and what I've known, what I've seen through uh, all the other accounts like such as Drops by J, Supreme Leaks and News. As well as some that have not been posted about at all that I found out myself. So first we're going to get into probably the most, we're going to go from like least hyped to most hyped and from worst resale to most resale. So we're just going to go in order from there. So first I'm going to start out with this Supreme, uh, hope you guys can see it over here. Supreme, it's like a kissing necklace tee. It just has a girl's mouth bottom uh, from here down with the Supreme necklace. It's your, probably just one of your generic Supreme tees, you know, nothing special, just normal. Has a little bit of branding, so people are going to like it because it, is, it, is, it does say Supreme on it. So definitely, people are definitely going to buy it, but it's not going to be more than like $15 over retail for resale. And then we're going to move on to the most, uh, the biggest design that they're going to be using for the season. And that is a skull candy, the green skull, like it's the green skulls. And along the background, uh, the, they're releasing box logo stickers as well we, during week one. And this was all, uh, this was all uh, inspired by Juicy J, uh, by the music video and by the designs of the uh, tees and the, the apparel that they wore during the videos. So this is all inspired by her, uh, Juicy J. Pretty much that entire design will be focused on a bunch of t-shirts. I think that's what's going to be releasing first is all with the box logo stickers. Just how last year they had the... Uh, the piss, I mean not the piss, the blood and semen supreme box logo. They're gonna have some one just like that, and then they're gonna put it on probably a short sleeve, a long sleeve, maybe on a crew neck. They normally do like a full collaboration like that, just like I did with the piss Christy, uh, piss Christ collection last season. So the next leaks are pretty much just a bunch of leaks that are under a bunch of another generic supreme items that are gonna be kind of hyped, kind of not. We'll go through it first. So first, I'm gonna start with the most whack item, and that is this. I don't even know what to call it honestly. It's like a crew neck, looks like. Looks to be like a fuzzy crew neck and just has, I'm, get, I'm assuming it's all the Supreme letters like S-U-P-R-E-M-E -E, scrambled along the sweater. This will definitely not do good for resale, but if you like it and if you're into it, go ahead and get it. If it's for you, go for it, but um, not for good for resale if you guys are looking to resell it. But of course you guys know, not everything's about resale, it's about what you guys like. So then we're going to go to this other jacket that I think it personally is really fire. It's just like a, it has like a turtleneck I'm assuming from what it looks like and it looks like that Paisley. A design that dropped a few years back on the Paisley Supreme North Face jackets. This looks really similar to it to me, and it looks like the bandanas. So that's why I'm gonna be going for it. it. Looks like a triple black colorway, and just has a Supreme tag on the inside. It looks really nice. It looks like something you could wear with a layer, so you could put like a hoodie under it and then put that on top. So that's for one of them. And then probably the my favorite leak out of this selection of items is the blue camo pants. As you guys know, the camo pants released last season, but that was in the Brooklyn colorway. It was yellow, black, and like grayish. And that released, and people were going crazy over them, crazy resale, and as well as because it was a collaboration with the Brooklyn T. But um, these pants will be releasing, the same pants will be releasing in a bluish colorway. I'm debating, I'm like, I'm thinking about like if they're going to release a blue box logo because they released the yellow and uh, the jacket first, and then they yellow box logo and then the yellow pants so maybe this is like a like a hint that they're gonna be dropping a blue camo box logo but it's probably not gonna happen because that already happened with the babe collab but you know you can always think about something crazy maybe it'll happen maybe it won't and then we're gonna move on to the swim trunks by supreme i remember two seasons ago last supreme i mean last supreme spring summer they released a bunch of swim trunks and the only ones that really did good on resale was the gucci colorway because it was uh green and red and those are fire, like I'm definitely gonna say, but these look really short. They look like from their like a European style. And they only have Supreme little written along uh, the inside of the legs. And then it's gonna have, it looks like it's 3M honestly, but you know, I don't know, cause these are mock-ups and they look really short and they will feature a box logo on the front. So then we're gonna move on to probably the most hyped collaboration of the entire season, which is the Supreme Nike NBA collab. <sighs> Oof, this is, this is, I personally think this is fire. Everyone's been hating on it, not everyone, but like a majority of people, mainly because I love Air Force Ones and, and I love, like, I like Supreme, but my Air Force Ones are my favorite shoe. I destroyed mine. I still haven't got another pair, but I definitely should. But the only thing that I don't like is the design of them labeling a bunch of NBA teams all over the sneaker. I wish they kept it just Supreme and Nike, otherwise, it wouldn't have like a bunch of NBA logos because Supreme isn't really like, 
I know kids, I don't think, are really looking to rock a bunch of NBA teams. Like, a bunch of kids either have their favorite NBA team, or they just don't follow the NBA, and that's it. But this, they're going to have a bunch of NBA teams along the entire shoe. I'm personally going to be going for the white colorway, because I love my Air Force, the white Air Force ones, but they also will be dropping a black colorway. So then we're going to move on. It's like a whole entire collection that they're dropping. It's going to be like a bunch of tanks. It's going to be a tank top, and, uh, not tank, but like a, a wife beater. And uh, the basketball shorts, the basketball jersey, and the basketball shorts. So the basketball, it's going to have all the same design as I was saying before. A bunch of Supreme teams just, I mean, NBA teams just stacked on top of the uh, the clothing. So as you guys can see, it'll have the, the jersey, which just have all the NBA teams. 94 on the front, which is when Supreme was created, if you hype beasts don't know. And that will just be on the front. It'll be Supreme written on Arc logo and 94 written on the front. And that's just gonna have a bunch of NBA's just labeled all over, which I will not. Well, I don't like, so I'm not gonna be going for the jersey, but I will, might be going for the pants in black. But I don't know, cause I'm debating on getting the whole entire fit or just getting the shoes, or just the shoes and the jersey. I don't know. I really am not sure. I'm gonna wait on it till the time comes. But they will also be releasing the shorts, which will be the same exact thing. I feel like this will be really uncomfortable because either if these are embroidered, they're just gonna be mad annoying to wear, cause you know when you're sweating and playing basketball. If you guys are actually gonna use them. I'm probably sure a lot of you aren't because you guys just like to flex in it. But if you guys are, it'll be I think it'll be pretty uncomfortable to wear. But I'm gonna try it out and see. If not, I'm sure this will have good resale kind of. Maybe like thirty dollars on top of the shorts, maybe like fifty on top of the jersey, and maybe like a hundred on top of the shoes. Not as much as they were before because these are like a wackish design and now everyone is for it. So that is why I don't think it'll be as great. Next we're gonna talk about some actual leaked pictures that were found by a person. Uh Probably that works for Supreme or knows someone really close to Supreme. And that is an actual image of the Planet of the Apes a collaboration that I talked in the previous video. If you guys haven't checked it out, you guys have to. It racked up 1.5k views or 1.4. Not sure, but it did really well. I really enjoyed talking about it because it is. it was a part one of the Supreme Leaks news. I'm a Supreme Leaks. and uh, So this was featured in part one, as I was saying. And now these will have like, it's going to have the exact same design as the mock-up. So the mock-up mock -up was spot on. So check out that video if you want to see me talk about it. I don't feel like talking about it because I just don't like the collaboration at all. If I liked it, it would have been dope, but I don't at all. And then we're going to go to the uh, lookbook. I mean, the preview that was dropped, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a few days ago. They, they're they going to be dropping the entire, not entire lookbook, but like a, a bigger preview slash lookbook on Monday. Today is Thursday. I'm not sure what today's date is. like February 9th, if I'm not mistaken. But they're gonna be. They dropped a, a preview, and this was a copy of another jack that they found. So it's pretty much just a white, green, uh, white, green, and red Gucci colorways. They like to do that color because everyone knows everybody wants the Gucci colorway. It just looks like it's bedazzled on the back. Retail, I'm expecting to be over a thousand, maybe not, but I don't know because like they always have insane retail prices for all their jackets like this. So I'm definitely not gonna be going for it. And then. So something crazy has happened. A lot of, as you guys know, in the beginning of the uh, beginning of the uh, beginning of the end of the season, people are speculating on there being a long sleeve box logo. But the model that is going to be modeling Supreme SS18 was put on a story, a picture of a long sleeve Supreme box logo, and I did feature in my previous video as well that that might be happening. So it might, it might not. But then again, I was talking talking to a bunch of people that are well connected into Supreme. They're saying that they're cutting off the Rick Rubin tee as well as the box logo for the season, which would be really bad, really depressing. But you know, you can't get everything you wish for. So I'll put a picture of the guy up right now. I forgot his name, but uh, he rocks the BOGO. And it would be fire if the long sleeve dropped because he only dropped one previous long sleeve, if I'm not mistaken, I think. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope I'm praying this season is going to be fire. So the lookbook drops Monday. In store is 16th, and then a week after that, that Thursday, is when it'll be online. So if you guys are online, you guys are gonna have to wait, but luckily I'll be going in store ASAP. So if you guys want anything, DM me on hype underscore NJ or at Thomas Severco. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see more videos. I'll be doing retail and resale estimation. So uh, catch me on the IG. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. What's going on, guys? Sorry to interrupt the video. But uh, as I was editing, I realized that uh, a bunch of leaks did come out Like as soon as I was about to post the video. And they're probably the most hyped leaks of the season. So I wanted to make sure to include them into the video because I know you guys would be interested in seeing them. So we're going to head back to the couch right now and we're going to film the rest of it. And uh, So make sure you guys stay tuned and enjoy. So we're going to head right into it right now. And this I'm so hyped for this because this came out. Uh, this leak came out on a Saturday or Friday. 
and this is what I'm most hyped about, like my number one piece I'm going to be going for that is supposed to be rumored to be dropping week one. And if I don't get, I'm going to be really upset. So far, I was going to start with the deck collection that's supposed to be dropping week one, SS18. This is a, the turkey. I call it a turkey dinner. It's Some people call it chicken. And that's going to be the two decks. It's going to be a white background and a black background. And the graphics are just going to be put on top of it. And then there's going to be the uh, Illegal Business Controls America deck. Like, as you guys know, they previously dropped the Illegal Business Illegal Business Controls America collaboration type uh, design before. And that was because the criminal was wearing the Supreme Box logo as he was, as he was walking out of prison. And that's why they considered Illegal Business Controls America. And they dropped the, the North Face jacket, like a puffy jacket, the just a regular jacket, the, uh, what is it called, the parka. And then a few other items that I'm not really uh, into that much. Those are my favorite items. And then they're dropping the deck as well as a hoodie. So the hoodie will be considered just a graphic Illegal Business Controls America on the chest. This is the mock-up as of right now. And I think they'll be releasing in four colorways, the white, black, blue, and red, because that's what the mock-up colorways are in. The mock-up colorways for the skateboard decks are white, black, blue, and red. And then the, for the turkey dinner, it's just white and black. So this is what's going to be dropping for week one. And this is what I'm so hyped about, because I really want the hoodie for myself and the deck. The blue deck is my favorite as of right now. And I don't know how it's going to look in person, depending on how, if they actually use the same design as mock-up or not. But if they do, it's a must-cop for me. I would be so hyped on it. And another thing that they have dropping uh, is the Supreme and Rawling collaboration. And no one knows what the item is yet, but they did announce that they have a collab going on. As you guys know, they dropped like a baseball before, as well as a baseball bat and the gloves. I'd be really hoping to see like a home plate, like a home plate Supreme design. I'm pretty sure that's what they've been doing because that's the only thing that they really can do. Or like a baseball bag, as you guys know, like first base, second base, or third base. That'd be super dope if they would do that. And something that came out today, which is Sunday... Which is insane. As you guys know, Supreme only does like one huge item uh, a season. Like last season, they did the Supreme uh, guitar. Then the season before that, they did the bike. This season, they already announced it. They normally don't announce it like this, but they did. And it's a Supreme pinball machine. As you guys can know, as you guys were keeping up with my page at hype underscore NJ, you guys would see that I posted a picture. And the video about it is insane. It's a uh, shot by some pinball player. And it has like a whole Supreme design on it. The box logo is everywhere. It's all featured red in Supreme letters. So make sure you guys check it out, the videos on my Instagram as well as Supreme New York's Instagram. That'll be releasing sometime this season, but I'm estimating that re the retail itself will be around $7,000. Because they normally jack up their prices because they know it's Supreme and because it is a pinball machine. And those machines are expensive themselves. So hope you guys enjoyed. I am a little bit under the weather if you guys haven't noticed. Hope you guys enjoyed those leaks. Hope you guys all have a great season. Good luck on copying everything. As I said before, I will be doing retail and resale estimations every week. So make sure you guys stay tuned with my account. Make sure to subscribe so you guys stay posted so you guys can make that bread this season. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.